you didn't see that. It didn't happen. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sandy Putch. I'm a photographer out of Littleton, Colorado. I have been shooting since I was 17 years old, just a little bit older than that. I'm really excited to share with you a little bit about my world. Now, welcome to my world of chaos. Ah! When I was born, my mom wanted a Sandy and my dad wanted a Sam, a Samantha. And so my mom named me Sandy and my dad started calling me Sam and it stuck. So I actually was raised Sam. My biggest fear is that I'm gonna start this transfer and it's gonna be a 10 hour transfer and the show's on there, so <laughs> I do have it backed up somewhere else, but did you really say two hours? That's what, she How, what time is it now? Would I be like 10 till noon? So we don't have two hours. All right, we have new show, new opening show, so that's good. It's a lot more. That's the new opening show, a lot more poppy. So done. All right. <laughs> It's like a real bathroom. You know, when I pick up a camera, um, honestly, as far as tools, I there there are lots of things, lots of bells and whistles that I have sort of um, added to my collection over the years. But the truth is, I don't really think about the tools that I use. I try to think about the moment and about capturing the moment. One of my favorite shoots of all time was I was actually shooting with a friend of mine down in the Keys. Uh, in Key West and it was one of these really big weddings. Now you have to imagine because this event is in the Keys and it's actually out in the water. There's a gazebo that has uh, that hold, holds about 50 people. Very private personal wedding and so the bride comes in, the groom comes in, everything is perfect. We're shooting like crazy. The videographer's there. Everything's going really well and then the ceremony starts and so I realize you know this is the moment. This is what we've been waiting for and uh, get my camera ready. I can see the other shooter. He's got his camera ready. The videographer's right there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Like I could feel tears welling up in my eyes because this mother is presenting this gift to this daughter and how this gift is going to represent the rest of their life. And as they open this box, it still gets me emotional. <laughs> as they open this box, their love is going to go forth and it's going to go beyond the world. And so of course I'm sitting there and tears are rolling and I think this is the most beautiful thing in the world. And um, the bride and the groom take the box and they go to open it together and as they slowly open it, all of a sudden, all these beautiful butterflies just go flying out of this box. And I'm, we're shooting like crazy. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And not even a tenth of a second later, 10,000 seagulls come from the top of the building and just attack all these butterflies. And there are seagulls, people, it looked like out of the birds, like all the guests are like, ah, screaming. <laughs> and butterflies are being eaten and the ones that aren't being eaten are rolling into the ocean and these giant fishes are coming up and eating all these butterflies. The videographer is laughing so hard. Literally the video is going like this. We are dying. I mean, we just, we're shooting the birds and we're shooting the butterflies. We're shooting the fish. It was just like a disaster. It was like the craziest, most beautiful moment turned into the most insane disaster you could ever imagine. So, and we have the whole thing captured, ready to go. And uh, we got to enjoy it for years to come. So when it comes to photography, my biggest passion is actually sort of split in two. Um, there's the photographer side of me that really loves the client that I really love the children I work with, the babies especially, um, the families watching the kids grow. And then there's the instructor side of me that actually really loves um, teaching photography. I feel like after 22 years, I've sort of gone the, sort of run the gamut on, on doing photography. And so it seems like now I've really shifted my mind into not only teaching and giving back, but sort of trying to find new ways to learn photography as well. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our world. All right, you ready? ready? All right, let's do this. First of all, I've been at this a long time. I started when I was 17. Um, this is the only job I've ever had. I literally, other than Kentucky Fried Chicken, which is not a major career move, um, <laughs> this is it. I learned the school of hard knocks, like many of you. I practiced, practiced, practiced. I worked really hard. I pushed myself and I got to be old and a photographer, which was cool. <laughs> you want to grow, if you want to uh, be a part of this world, if you want to be effective in what you do, you have to give it back. You know, it's funny, I've been with lots of different labs over the last few years. I've sort of transitioned into, I was with a very small lab, then I went with a very big lab, and for me, it's all about relationships. So the reason I switched to Bay Photo is 
it was a relationship issue. I need to know who's on the other end of the line. I need to know that they know my company and that they care about what I'm doing. But you know, when you meet somebody, when you commu communicate with people and, and they get you, it, it, made it, it made it a little easier for me. So started working with Bay and haven't looked back. The people are great, the product is great. Um, they're, they're cutting edge, they're out there trying to you know, bring new things to the industry. They're a lot like I am. They want, to, they want to always be doing the next best thing. And so you always want to tie yourself to somebody like that.